Yo, how's it going gamers? It's your boy one and Chris here, aka Chris that Gamer. Today guys, I am bringing you another gameplay. What you guys are going to be watching is a sick diamond executioner nuked out by your boy football. He's going to be playing on the map, hijacked. Go check him out, guys. I say it all the time, but he's a sick player over here at one and pub stomping. And since the Black Ops 3 beta is out, you guys definitely need to understand that this man is going to be dropping some sick gameplays of, for this game, Black Ops 3. So you might as well go ahead and check him out now so you guys can get ready for those insane gameplays. Since Black Ops 3's beta is finally out and we're now waiting for the beta to be over with and we're waiting for the game to actually come out, I'm starting to think about when is is it done for COD? Now, so many people have talked about when they think Call of Duty is finally over, when they think that COD is going to die, or when Call of Duty is not going to be on the hugest platform of YouTube and be that game that everybody posts and that is just continuing to be overpopulated by viewers and content creators. But seriously, when is it going to end? This year and the start of 2016, we're going to have so many new first person shooters that could have the chance to dethrone Call of of duty or kill call of duty and in my opinion i feel like black ops 3 is the chance of a lifetime right now because this game needs to save cod that's something that we've been saying for every single game now yeah we said that about ghosts it was a terrible game everybody still played it then we said that about advanced warfare it was fun for a week everybody played it now everybody says the game sucks and it's like honestly i don't think people are going to play black ops 2 for a fourth year in the row so i feel like black ops 3 needs to get it right and i feel like they will i feel like they will because this beta is just going to let the developers know what needs to be tweaked what needs to be nerfed what needs to be buffed you know things that need to be fixed but after this, we're giving the torch back on to the Infinity War boys. And yeah, Infinity War has possibly made the best Call of Duty of the Call of Duty franchise, Modern Warfare 2. But let's be honest, Modern Warfare 2 had so many issues. Then Modern Warfare 3, a little bit more, so many issues. Then Ghost, probably one of the worst Call of Duties of all time. And it's crazy to me that some people say Ghost was my first Call of Duty. Like, what do you mean Ghost was your first Call of Duty? That game sucked. And it sucks for some people that they had to go through that game. But really, when is Call of Duty going to stop? There's so many games that could take its throne. Like I said before, Star Wars Battlefront, Halo 5. There's just way too many games to go through the list. Rainbow Six Siege, and the list goes on and on and on. Homefront, the second one that's going to be coming out. I'm pretty sure it's called Homefront, the Revelations, I think. Don't quote me on that. But there's so many games that could be coming out that could possibly take it away from Call of Duty, and it's like, is this going to happen? Can this happen? And if it does, what does that mean for all the hardcore Call of Duty fans that really enjoy the game? Because I don't see Infinity War doing a good job. If they drop us with Ghost 2, see ya boys. You ain't seeing me no more. I'm going to something else because I just cannot believe that this franchise has gotten so big. But one thing that we don't get from the other developers is developer support. The only developer support we get is the boys over there at Treyarch. Every other developer, they just don't get it. Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, they just don't get it. How to make the game right. It's all for us. So hopefully Black Ops 3 Beta is putting Call of Duty at a better future. Every single COD for now has a beta. So now the developers know that, hey, this beta is for us and the fans. So the fans can let us know what is going on. What is wrong with our game. So coming out on release... There's no excuses. Hopefully you guys didn't enjoy today's gameplay. Like I said before, let me know what you guys think about who's going to kill Call of Duty and if it could even happen or is this franchise just too big enough for it to die down. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and check out football. Come over to my channel and check me out. I would really appreciate it. It would help me out a lot. As always, it's been Boy1 and Chris, aka Chris the Gamer. Continue killing it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.